What we've seen happening since the crisis, uh, let's say, kicked in, hit the market um, in 2008, is that debt uh, has almost disappeared from the markets initially. Um, the capital markets, the commercial real estate investment markets, were driven primarily by, um, by equity. Uh, but if you actually you look at the levels of equity in the market at the moment, and this is not something specific for Central Europe, but this is European-wide, is that the amounts of, of, of equity in the market are at the moment higher than at the peak of the market in 2005, 6, 7. So it really indicates how much money is at the moment out there. That is driven by, uh, let's say, uh, in institutional investors that were already available in the market, but also a lot of new players. And a lot of these players are increasing their allocation to commercial real estate because they feel that the returns that they can get on commercial real estate at the moment are far more positive uh, than investments in uh, corporate bonds, in bonds or uh, in, in the equity markets. So therefore we feel uh, that uh, there is an increasing amount of debt, uh, sorry, of equity in combination with the most likely increase of, of, of debt levels as well because banks are getting under pressure to increase LTVs and as a consequence we feel that over the next 6, 12, 24 months there is a very strong investment market out there unless something unpredictably uh, may happen. And this is um, what we are basing our expectations on that in Central Europe we may see a bit of further yield compression of around let's say 10, 15, 15, 25, 30 basis points over the next 12 to 24 months to come.